Uh, my journey started probably in 2018 when I noticed some breathing changes going up hills or, or longer distances. I started noticing my decrease of walking distance and endurance for a couple years, but I kind of just shrugged it off as I'm out of shape. You know, that that's kind of how I perceived it until it got to the point where I would do something and, and feel like I needed to pass out. I went to my local clinic. They did some tests and realized I had pulmonary hypertension. They didn't know the cause, so they referred me to Dr. Thenepin. On further testing, what we found was the pressure in his lung arteries were very high due to blood clots, a condition called chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, or CTEF. And fortunately for Jeremy, the clots were in the main branches. So the best treatment for the, him would be to go for an open heart surgery. And the name of the surgery is called pulmonary thromboendarterectomy or PTE surgery. The choices for him were to have it done here versus to go to San Diego. And Jeremy has a long relationship with the university. He had done his renal transplant here at the university. So he had a lot of trust at the university and wanted to have it done here. We were excited to bring this surgery and this therapy to the patients at the University of Minnesota as it's uh, not it's not a surgery that's offered at very many hospitals. Knowing that I could have the procedure here was um, reassuring for me, but it was more comfortable. I knew my doctors, I knew everybody would be working together to make sure that this was seamless. And the surgeon who helped us train for the surgery from Paris was very kind enough and gracious and came and proctored us for our surgery. This was an opportunity for us to continue to provide excellent care at the University of Minnesota uh, without having to subject our patients to increased financial and family burdens. I was still on oxygen after the surgery, but I noticed right away that I could go up a flight of stairs and not be winded um, on limited amount of oxygen. The surgery ran really well. Jeremy did phenomenal. He was out of the ICU in three days. He was discharged from the hospital within seven to 10 days. I'm starting to run on a treadmill at least uh, one to two miles, five times a week. I go ice fishing with my son and I feel like I did um, when I was younger. When Dr. Thenepin had told me that Jeremy was back at work landscaping, a work of labor, and off oxygen. That's what really made this team feel successful. From the first time I met Dr. Thenepin to where I'm at now, it's a night and day difference.